Well, I've got the, uh, the camera, my GoPro Hero 5, mounted on my head. Actually mounted on my uh, magnifiers, because I have to use my magnifiers. And I know how that can be disturbing to watch the video, but uh, quite honestly, I have to be able to see what I'm doing at my best, and I can't, and, and still have you guys see it at your best. So, the only way I can do this is mount it on my head for a couple minutes until I get this guy back on his body. switch to a permanent mount. His nose is a little crooked and that's something I've got to adjust. I haven't got a long time to work on this today because I'm going to be going to uh, dinner with some friends up to uh, Willow Creek Cafe, which is about 40 miles north of here. We're going to leave about 5 o'clock. This is really the only way I can do this without having my hands in the way. Hopefully. Time to play with some clay. mounted my uh, GoPro 8 so that I can uh, switch between especially when I'm moving my head around
I'm trying to do a young warrior's face, one that hasn't been ravaged by time or injury. And let me tell you, that's not easy to do this size. Much easier when you're working a larger base. I think I'm just about to the point where I've got to quit on this face because if I do anything else, it'll just screw it up. There has to be a point where you say, enough's enough. Okay, it's time for me to remove this clay from the uh, rig. Okay. Okay, I gotta heat that up. Sorry about my phone, but it's on because that's how I go control my GoPro 5 is uh, with the GoPro app on my iPhone. I've chosen to place my GoPros in two different positions. Uh, the GoPro 8, which I'm pointing to is there and the GoPro 5 is the one I'm pointing to here <laughs> so that I got uh, two views instead of just one view which may obscure what I'm doing all right let's uh, get everything arranged here I've got my camera set up now I just need to get my lights turned on I finally figured out how to adjust the lighting settings on my GoPro 8 and they look beautiful now they aren't washed out like they were before and I had to make adjustments in the video program so I'm going to remove the uh, rifle right now because I'm not going to work on that today not going to have time I'm going to work on his hair a bit What I'm doing right now is uh, working out some hair that I want to experiment with. I won't 
show the method because uh, I showed in my instructional DVDs what I do with this to make it look like hair. It's always nice to frame in the face. That's why I'm. I wasn't really happy with how I had the hair before, and uh, you've always got to think of gravity and what effect it has on hair and items that he's wearing. All right, that's as far as I'm going to get today. I've worked a little bit on. Uh, filling in the hair and underneath the hair I'm going to do a little more of that I added another piece of hair that would go underneath this strap where it's the weakest and uh, I've got some smoothing to do on the body itself um, but I'm going to do that next time I can't do it today I want to re redo his feathers and I want to do them more detailed in uh, wax and that will be another day and then I've got to work on the horse's head uh, and uh, the the mane on the horse which I'm not really overly happy with and then it's a matter of uh, smoothing out the blanket and giving it some kind of texture that's surrounding her body and on the horse and uh, then we'll be done and then I can get back on the statue of Christ because that's also going to be cast I took these to the foundry the other day, the beginning of the week, and got a really good bid on them. And uh, actually, was it this week or was it last week? I can't remember. I went to the foundry either this week or last week. My brain's fried. Um, but anyway, it, uh, I got really good bids on them. So now I can set prices on the uh, Statue of Christ and on the uh, clay of this, the uh, a Warrior's Farewell. And uh, I picked up a bronze that I had cast for a client who's going to pick it up, I think, in June, I think. I'm not certain. Uh, he's going to come by here and pick it up, which saves him. Well, it won't save him a lot because it's cost to go here, but he'll at least uh, get here and be able to pick up his prawns. So that's going to be it for tonight. I'm going to go get ready for dinner and uh, get this video out, hopefully, before I go. And uh, I'll see you guys next time, probably next week or tomorrow. Depends on how I feel tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Have a great night. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.